Hello, this is Deva Manikanta, and this is my CS50 SQL project themed for local marketplace support system. The database is designed to power the local businesses by connecting the customers, business owners, and delivery agents within their own local community or location. Okay, let's dive into how the database is actually structured. This ER diagram shows the blueprint of the database. You can see it's designed logically to manage the whole marketplace flow. At the heart of it, we have our users entity, storing customers, business owners and delivery agents, interacting with the businesses they frequent or own, all tied to specific locations. To keep things consistent, we use several lookup entities, i.e. lookup tables, over here. These define things like market domains, so we know if a business sells products, services or both, and standard statuses for orders and payments, plus the different payment modes. Now, the core functionality splits based on what's being offered. For products, businesses list their items in the product's entity, with specific details like size, color, price, and stock, tracked in product models. When a customer orders, it flows through a user cart, which contains individual product orders. This cart is then linked to cart payments and allows for product ratings later on. We have a similar, parallel structure for services. Businesses define their services, users book them creating service orders and these are linked to service payments and service ratings. This separation allows us to handle the different needs of product delivery versus service fulfillment cleanly. And entities like business associations provide flexibility, linking businesses to multiple market domains if needed. Beyond just structuring the data, a key part of this project was implementing optimizations to enhance performance, usability, and data integrity. I focused on three main areas, views, indexes, and triggers. First, views. They're incredibly useful for simplifying complex data access and for security. For example, the view customer info provides essential details about customers like their name and username, but it deliberately hides sensitive information like their password or exact address. Views are also great for presenting aggregated data. The view product rating summary, for instance, calculates the average rating and the total number of ratings for each product model. This means the application can easily display popular products without needing to run complex aggregation queries every single time. Next, indexes. To ensure the database responds quickly, especially as it grows, I implemented indexes. Indexes were strategically placed on frequently queried columns, like the IDX username index optimizes the search of username in the user's entity which is critical for fast login lookups, and for the case of foreign keys and columns used in common filtering operations, such as the user ID and status ID in the user cart's entity. This significantly speeds up fetching a user's order history or finding orders with a specific status. Finally, and perhaps most significantly, I made extensive use of triggers. They were crucial for enforcing complex business logic and maintaining data integrity automatically. I categorize the triggers into four types for clarity. Automating triggers handle background tasks. For example, when a product order is confirmed, a trigger named Auto Update Available Stock when order is confirmed automatically decreases the available stock for that product model in product model's entity. Similarly, service availability slots are automatically adjusted when services are booked or completed. Validating and restricting triggers act as gatekeepers. The trigger named Validate, Owner, Role, On Insert ensures only users with the Business Owner role in User's Entity can actually be assigned as the owner when a new business is created. Other triggers prevent invalid order status transitions, like marking an order as delivered if it was never confirmed. And logging triggers provide record keeping for analytical purposes. Triggers like log user updates automatically capture changes made to important user information, like password or phone number updates, and record the old value, new value, and timestamp into the dedicated logs table. This is essential for tracking history and other debugging scenarios. Together, these views, indexes, and the comprehensive set of triggers make the database not just functional, but also efficient, secure, and reliable in maintaining data integrity. While the optimizations significantly enhance the system's capabilities, it's important to acknowledge a few limitations. Critically, 
the password storage shown here requires proper hashing for real-world security. The current design also assumes single business owners and utilizes foundational logic for inventory and service slots, omitting advanced features like user-to-user -user messaging or complex logistics such as route optimization. Despite these scope boundaries, the schema demonstrates a comprehensive approach to database design. By leveraging constraints, an extensive set of triggers, views for varied access patterns, and performance tuning indexes, it provides a robust and functional foundation for a real-world local marketplace application. I appreciate your time viewing this slightly extended overview. Thank you for watching.